provide a shot to everyone who wants one on demand right now on this on day one. And we do ask Minnesotans to continue to be patient. Sarah Danik, Fox 9. Robert Downey is currently a hotspot for the COVID-19 variant known as BB117. So doctors are concerned because this variant, it's the UK variant, is spreading faster, which means it's more contagious. State leaders have seen a more than 62% increase in B117 in Harvard County from the end of January to February. Many of those cases are linked to youth sports. Doctors say the 20-year-olds who are contracting the variant are the most are the ones that really concern them most. They usually don't get that sick, but it doesn't stay in that cell. Two weeks later, it's been sitting in the forties. Two weeks later, it's been sitting in the in, in the elderly, and two weeks after that, people start dying. Health officials say one positive sign is that a large number of seniors in the state are getting vaccinated. The Minnesota Department of Health is taking action against four COVID-19 testing labs for failure to report case results. According to an MDH audit, an additional 891 confirmed or probable cases of COVID-19 from the past were found and added to today's total. The audit also found unreported deaths. This set of cases includes 22 hospitalizations and 138 deaths. We take very seriously our commitment to data quality. We are taking steps to ensure no labs make this mistake in the future. Infectious Disease Director Chris Harrison says enforcement action against these labs could include fines of up to $10,000. Tonight, one of those labs, Legacy Healthy, said the error was the result of test coding issues related to a technical interface used by the Department of Health. The new COVID relief measure is moving full speed ahead. The House is poised to vote on and pass the $1.9 trillion bill tomorrow. It will then go to President Biden for his signature. The bill includes $1,400 payments to millions of Americans, an unemployment benefits extension, and billions of dollars for schools, protective equipment, and vaccines. While Democrats argue the measure is vital, Republicans claim part of it, like billions in state aid, are wasteful and unnecessary. Unemployment insurance, the checks of equity that will go out as well, these provisions are going to change lives. It doesn't even take into consideration that many states don't need a bailout. The stimulus payments are expected to go out to Americans by the end of the month. Minnesota is getting a new person in charge of the state's schools. Mary Catherine Ricker has resigned as education commissioner. Her last day will be March the 19th. The Walsh administration says that Ricker wants to leave state service to spend more time in the classroom. Deputy Commissioner Heather Muller will take her place. Muller has reportedly been playing the leading role in the Department of Education's response to the pandemic. A downtown Minneapolis favorite is almost ready to welcome customers back again. Ritz Pub has been restored and will reopen on Friday, March 19th at 4 o'clock in August. Fire broke out during the unrest that followed a murder suspect suicide on Nicollet Mall. Ritz will be open on Thursday and Friday nights, as well as Saturdays and Sundays. Food will be available for indoor dining, takeout, and delivery. People in Plymouth who live near the site where a train derailed will have to deal with several months of disruption there. The city says that due to the size of the derailment, cleanup is expected to last maybe into the summer. That means residents will have to deal with noise from construction and from train engineers who are required to sound the horns when entering that area. The train carrying molten sulfur derailed Sunday near Schmidt Lake Road and Northwest Boulevard. Well, with the first pitch of the twin season approaching, things are looking bright for fans hoping to catch a game in person. Governor Wall says as the state continues to expand vaccine eligibility, we expect restrictions to ease up in the coming months. He said there was a call with Minnesota's pro sports teams yesterday. He did not have a decision for them yet, though. He promised an announcement within days. Not soon enough for Republicans who say that businesses need more clarity than they're getting right now. If we're going to react to a spike, we also need to react when our numbers are plummeting. And right now, they're plummeting. We put out this guidance, I, I would say, uh, in a matter of a very short amount of time. They need leave now. The governor said it is hard to plan because of the threat of virus variants. He appeared much more sure of allowing events to deeper in the spring and summer you go. So, so we keep our fingers crossed. Yeah, so we're getting closer. Yes. Buckingham Palace breaks its silence over the explosive interview. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry gave to Oprah Winfrey. Queen Elizabeth issued a statement saying that the royal family will address allegations of racism 
but says some recollections of events differ. Mm -hmm. The Queen stated that the whole family was saddened to learn how challenging the last few years had been for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The monarch says that mm -hmm. the issues will be dealt with privately. In the interview, Meghan said that she mm -hmm. had suicidal thoughts and that an unidentified member of the royal family mm -hmm. raised concerns mm -hmm. about the color of her baby's skin while she was pregnant mm -hmm. with her son, Archie. Well, it is a view of a South Minneapolis mm -hmm. institution we've never seen quite like this before. See the amazing video mm -hmm. coming up. Also, if you are a fan of winter or spring, today was the best of both worlds. How people were able to enjoy some very different kinds of seasonal activities. You may be thinking to yourself after today, great googly googly has been expecting rain quite often. Unbelievably warm, but things change quickly into the day tomorrow. Instead of heat, we'll talk rain, thunderstorms, and for some, even accumulating snow. Great googly googly, we'll see after the break. The fish, I think it is the fish. Yeah, it's the same fish. Thank you. 
the hot table that they see about. Kevin Underwriter runs TwinCitiesGolf.com. For the last 20 years that I've been in the business, this is the earliest date that courses have actually been open, and what we expect will be for the season. I'm glad they're open. Brett Heckman got his round win at Stonebrook Golf 